The Christmas countdown is on and it is time now to imagine it. Imagine a place where you already have all of your shopping done. That could be the Imagination Station. Carl Nelson is here as the chief scientist. Tell us about what's happening all over this table. <laughs> so, you know, often you ask, where do I get ideas for these segments and stuff? And often it's with existing toys and things that we sell in our gift shop. Okay. And so, um, one thing I picked up, which is really cool, I don't know if you remember, we've got a, a bubble-blowing robot here. It's pretty I was, great. I was struck by the number of robots in the store. So, <laughs> <clears throat> um, do you remember the pickle piano thing that we made a long yeah, time ago? Yeah. Well, we actually sell that device oh, that's great. in our shop, right? And what's cool about it is I've, I've sort of set it up here. It's a little uh, microcomputer, and it's got sensors on it. So, Tony, if you stick your finger on this green one, that's the ground wire. Okay. And in fact, come closer. Do your okay. other hand on that one. And if you touch any of the other wires on the end, you complete a circuit, and it's programmed to play like a piano. Wow. And what's cool about this is, you know, you can even do it again. You can yeah. change, the, change what it makes. So now we're making drum sounds. It's like Ferris Bueller. Yeah. So what's cool about this is, you know, if you, if you get a toy like this, and after a while you think, well, kind of done, I'm kind of bored with it, you can take something else, like we sell an earthquake in a can. Take okay. this. Yeah, it's silly. You just flip it over. All right. Just turn it over, and what, what happens? Uh, it starts to jiggle around. So yeah. I, I look at this and say, okay, that's not an earthquake in a can. This is the body of a robot, <laughs> right? Right. So if we if we take that can, add you know, some markers, some washers, an ornament from the tree that we're not using anymore. Oh boy. It's all about reusing and repurposing things. We can now instead of using our hands to complete the circuit. Perhaps a robot can bounce around. Go robot Santa in a can. And, and generate some sounds, <laughs> right? So, you know, if you have a toy that you're not using anymore, it's cool to think of another way you could repurpose it. Even, yeah. even this little, here, I'll let you hold this. I have a feeling you did this a lot when you were a kid. Yeah, well, I never could put them back together. That was the problem. <laughs> the you challenge. take them apart. But, so this little guy is kind of cool. He's a little marching guy. Put some conductive tape on the bottom <laughs> so he can complete the circuit. He goes. He's got. He marches yeah. to his own beat there, apparently. But yep. destroy. <laughs> so what's what's cool about this stuff is that the entire month of December, we are stocked up with tools mm -hmm. and toys, broken toys and working toys. If you have stuff that you have at home and you want to bring it down, we, we'll make Franken toys out of it. Franken toys. Franken toys. We'll oh, take terrific. all this sort of stuff and put it back together in different ways. We can even combine it with other toys that you might have, and maybe somebody can fix my robot for me. Um, but come on down and check it out. It's really cool. We got all the stuff. We got broken toys. Bring your toys. We can combine them. We can learn how they work inside. What makes this thing walk? What makes it stop walking when I put it down? I yeah. don't know. There you go. Yeah, it's all sorts of really cool stuff you can do. Excellent. So it's like a scientist Santa's workshop. Down here at the Imagination Station, take a look. The times are on your screen. As always, it's at One Discovery Way, downtown Toledo, and... If you have a cat, don't bring it. I was just uh, curious <laughs> about all those sounds. Noises. Yeah, you can bring out your toy, though, if yes. you have a robot cat. That'd be great. And we may uh, make it a dog. You never know. Half cat, half dog in robot form. And that's <laughs> how you imagine it.